Hello, my name is Bill Bishop, and I'm a faculty member in electrical and computer engineering at the University of Waterloo, and I'm also the director of admissions for engineering at the University of Waterloo. Today, I'm going to talk to you about electrical and computer engineering. First, we're going to start by introducing the programs of electrical engineering and computer engineering. And then we'll talk a little bit about the EC department as a whole. We'll look at some of the programs that are offered and the courses that are offered within those programs, as well as the co-op program, a discussion of student life in ECE, and much more. So first, let's start by looking at why electrical engineering was created. The field of electrical engineering was established to design and build electrical power systems. It was recognized that there was a need for people who were experts in the delivery of power. Modern electrical engineering encompasses all design activities involving electrical signals and systems, no matter how big or how small those signals are. There are over 100,000 practicing electrical engineers in the field. And the electrical engineering field is represented by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The IEEE is the largest professional technical organization in the world with over 400,000 active members. Computer engineering came from the need to design, analyze, and apply computer systems and software. Computer systems, of course, have revolutionized uh, the way that we do things ever since they were introduced. The first North American computer engineering program was offered in 1971 at Case Western Reserve University. Computer engineers design computer hardware and computer software to process data and control systems. The electrical and computer engineering department at the University of Waterloo is the largest department on campus. We have over 2,500 students in our programs and well over 12,000 alumni. We also have a total of 95 faculty members and we're growing. And we have over 50 support staff that help out with the delivery of courses and the administration of our programs. We offer a number of programs beyond just electrical and computer engineering. But of course, those two programs are our core programs. These are accredited programs, which means that they've been approved by the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board. The EC department partners with other departments to offer a number of programs that are also accredited. These include biomedical engineering, mechatronics engineering, nanotechnology engineering, and software engineering. Biomedical engineering, of course, looks at the design of biomedical systems and tools. Mechatronics engineering looks at the intersection of mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. Nanotechnology engineering looks at the design of things at the nanometer scale. And software engineering looks at the design of software systems. In first year, electrical and computer engineering students will take the following courses. They'll take calculus. They'll take classical mechanics or physics. They'll take communication in the engineering profession. They'll learn about the engineering profession and practice. They'll study the fundamentals of programming and they'll learn linear algebra and also participate in a project course. In their second term of studies, which happens in either the winter or the spring term, students will participate in a calculus course, a course on digital circuits and systems, a course in digital mathematics and logic, a course on electricity and magnetism, a course on engineering economics and its impact upon society, and of course, a course on circuits. As a student in electrical and computer engineering, you may find yourself studying antennas, microwaves, and wave optics, biomedical engineering, circuits and systems, communications and information systems, computer hardware, computer software, nanotechnology, pattern analysis and machine intelligence, which is often equated in some ways with artificial intelligence, 
power and energy systems, quantum information, such as quantum computing, silicon devices and integrated circuits, systems and controls, for example, robotics, and very large scale integration or chip design. And finally, wireless communication, which of course is very important in the modern era. Our program is structured in a way that the first three academic terms are identical for electrical engineering and computer engineering. What this means is that qualified students may transfer between these programs without repeating terms should space allow for a transfer. Technical electives begin in third year. At this point, students are able to specialize in the programs and to study the courses that they wish to study. The EC department offers more than 30 technical electives, but students are of course welcome to take technical electives from other engineering departments and faculties. For example, you might be able to take a course in systems design engineering or a course in mechatronics, or perhaps even a course from computer science. Some of the popular technical electives include the ones listed here. Students interested in programming would of course be very interested in algorithm design analysis. They might also be interested in programming for performance. Of course, students that are interested in power systems would be very interested in power systems analysis, operations, and markets. And students who are interested in dealing with either robots or autonomous vehicles would be interested in robot dynamics and control, and more recently, the autonomous vehicles courses itself. So there's a lot of different options that you can choose from. And speaking of options, you have the ability to customize your degree with options. An option is a course package that allows you to study and gain expertise in a specific area of a field. For example, some of our most popular options are those listed here. Artificial intelligence is our most recent option and it's highly sought after by our students. But of course, we also offer options in entrepreneurship, management sciences, mechatronics, physical systems, physical sciences, and software engineering. As a student in electrical and computer engineering, you'll have the ability to learn from some of the best. We have award-winning faculty members, including eight fellows of the Royal Society of Canada, 16 fellows of the Canadian Academy of Engineering, seven fellows of the Engineering Institute of Canada, 30 fellows of the IEEE, and one Engineering Emmy Award winner, who we're quite proud of. Some of these faculty members are pictured at the bottom of the slide. These faculty members have also been involved in many different successful ventures, including the companies DALSA, IMS, or Intelligent Mechatronic Systems, Ka Imaging, Ignis Innovation, Slipstream, which was bought by BlackBerry, and Serific Wireless, which was also bought by BlackBerry, Nanolytics, Sabermetrics, ThorLab Quantum Electronics, and many other ventures that are worth much more than a million dollars these days. One of the reasons why you might be interested in electrical and computer engineering at the University of Waterloo is that we offer a co-op program. In fact, the co-op program is integrated into our undergraduate program. All students are required to be co-op students. And during this program, students have an opportunity to complete six co-op placements. Students may work in six different companies and explore career options to obtain 24 months of practical engineering experience. Co-op placements are paid internships for working on real engineering projects. And the job opportunities that are available at the University of Waterloo are highly sought after. During a co-op work term, students earn an average of $18.50 per hour in their first term of studies. But by their sixth co-op term, they will earn an average of 26.66 per hour. And many students earn more than this. 
Students apply for jobs online and employers decide who to interview. The process has been refined over decades and it now works extremely well. Students are, of course, matched to jobs using a ranking system, but students have input into the ranking system. So in other words, as a student in the co-op system, you have the ability to decide where you wanna work. And to give you an idea of the scope of the opportunities that are available through the University of Waterloo, here are just a handful of the logos of companies that our students work for. You can see all of the major tech companies here, but also you see many other companies as well. For example, Toyota, Christie Digital, Ontario Power Generation, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, and Rockwell Automation. The list is quite extensive. And in addition to the companies seen here, we of course have opportunities for students to participate in early stage startups as well. It can be a very exciting program to be a part of. One thing to keep in mind is that Waterloo Engineering students have a life of their own. The Engineering Society organizes events for all of our engineering students. Some of the things that they offer include Eng play, a play written by students, directed by students, and acted by students. You might also participate in a hackathon such as EngHack, or perhaps they'll go to a semi-formal, which of course is the annual dance. And there's of course the very popular Waterloo Engineering Competition, where students qualify for the Ontario Engineering Competition, where they have an opportunity to hopefully compete at the national level in the Canadian Engineering Competition. In addition to the events organized by NSOC, there's also events organized by our own students. Uh, these can include smaller social events, charitable activities, student workshops, and even events specific to departments. Within EC, we have the EC Society, which organizes events, training sessions, and clubs specifically for EC students. The EC department has a dedicated wellness coordinator that organizes activities for faculty, staff, and students to promote wellness. Often these get togethers involve food and students are quite happy to be there. Here we see some images of our students enjoying themselves on campus. The image on the left is taken in uh, one of our uh, spaces available for students called Poets. The image in the middle was taken at the engineering day as was the image on the right. ECE is really a tight-knit community within the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Waterloo. And there's many different events for students to excel in, whether it's social events as illustrated on the left, whether it's the annual design capstone symposium that happens uh, usually in March, and whether it's uh, participating in team projects or hackathons or other competitions. There's a lot of things to participate in. And in EC, you have an opportunity to be a leader of tomorrow. As evidence of this, look at some of the things that our employers have said. For example, in the Global Mail, it's been said that resumes listing University of Waterloo are significantly more likely to generate callbacks. In other words, people are interested in hiring our students. It's widely known that Microsoft hires more students from the University of Waterloo than any other Canadian university. And this of course includes electrical and computer engineering. And the University of Waterloo is number one in the world for student employer connections, according to the QS graduate employment uh, rankings in 2019. This is just a sampling of some of the positive opinions of our program and all of the things that are offered by the University of Waterloo. As further evidence, our alumni are quite successful. We have over 10,800 EC alumni listed on LinkedIn. They're actively involved in the profession of electrical and computer engineering. This includes a large number of 
chief executive officers, chief technology officers, chief operating officers, and others. 883 business founders in total. And of course, we have a large number of professors that have come from our electrical and computer engineering family. Over 441 people listed on LinkedIn that have graduated from electrical and computer engineering at the University of Waterloo are now professors or retired professors. So on that note, I'm glad you were able to join us to learn a little bit more about electrical and computer engineering. And should you have any other interest in, in our program, I encourage you to reach out to us at the University of Waterloo. We'd be more than happy to answer the rest of your questions. Have a great day.